Uh, Neil, we've obviously had the announcement this morning that you're committed to the club for next season. Really positive news for us and for you looking forward now. Yeah, he's, you know, it, it wasn't really in doubt. I just, you know, talking to Steve, he's been saying, pestering me to say how, you know, you've not seen anything until you've seen a, a good crowd at the Riverside and uh, optimistic that there's going to be crowds for next season. And, uh, and it, you know, you don't want to finish your like this in a, in a pandemic like this with no crowds around even away from home I miss them so um, yeah it's it's good I've enjoyed my time here um, I think I've done what I set out to do uh, and Steve's as you know a bigger a bigger supporter as has ever been he wants us to do well and he's going to try and support me the best he can you obviously mentioned about meeting Steve recently and your engagements with him your interactions with him must have been really positive and the support that he's shown for you yeah, he's been he's been um, full of positivity right from the start this season, and uh, you know sometimes you know like when you are a little bit down, he, he gives you a bit of a lift, and and that's how it should be, um, because I'm no different to any other manager. Every, you know, we all need lifts at times, but it's it's just been it's just been great sort of um, seeing players come to the fore, um, possibly that um, were a little bit low uh, in the past, and and. And standing up and being counted, and I think we've got a decent squad. I think we are short. I think everybody knows. We, I think we're short uh, in a couple of positions. But you know, we're gonna. We've got time now to look and try and find those. At the same time, we've got to try and keep getting results this season. We don't want to let it just peter out this season. So you know, it's it's an, it was important to. I, I know one or two players were asking questions, and I think it's always nice to. For them to know that the, the manager is going to be here next season and we can plan accordingly. Yeah, you've mentioned about the ups and downs that you have as a manager, but you don't seem to have lost any of the enthusiasm that takes you day to day into the game, and because you're not going to get a much more demanding schedule than it's been this season. No, it it's a, it has been horrific for all managers, and uh, that's where you need your good staff. I've got good staff with Kevin and and, and Ronnie, um, and everybody else has pulled two on the staff. It's it's been great working with them, and. Um, I think they'll be they'll be quite pleased and be, be behind the scenes that that, that we're staying here. Um, it has you know it's not been so much all football wise, family wise. It's it's been difficult. You know I think um, Sharon's going to be going home in the in the next few weeks and uh, and uh, going to try and fly up. You know I think I, I'll have to owe a lot to Sean at the Teesside Airport because um, you know without the flights coming in, um, it'll be, it'll be very difficult to commute. Uh, that far down, but I'm I'm optimistic that they'll be back um, in the next few weeks as well. So it'll be easier for Sharon to come up visiting then. You touched on just about the players being pleased, obviously to to have your own future sorted out. You committing, I guess, is the latest building block that you've put in place because there's been other players who've signed contracts as well this season. You know, the likes of Paddy McNair, Anthony Dykesteel, Mark Ball. You've got them tied down as well. Yeah, I thought it was you know working for the club, working for Steve. I just recommended that these things should be done, and whoever's in charge really, and uh, and they listened to me advice, and we got we got it all done. So I was delighted about these players. That's why uh, a lot of clubs will be there'll be a lot of players out of contract in the summer, and and it'll be a big quite a big job. Whereas I think from our point of view, you know we we know what we need, and uh, we just got to you know concentrate on getting the players in that we need really. I think the term you used in, in a few weeks ago was this club could explode in the next five years. I mean, the building blocks are all there and when you've got an owner who's determined to keep players like Dale Fry, Marcus Tavernier, we've got the academy set up, there is a lot of potential in this club. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's. I think I said last week, it's the icing on the cake that we're looking for now. Um, the couple of players that will make the difference um, in the where we are next season because it is as close as that. If you look at all the top teams... Um, you know they've got a strong base down the spine, etc. And and I think you know we've got to try and make sure that we can compete in that area because I'm happy everywhere else. I think you know I think we're down that middle um, striker wise. I think everybody knows we, we we've needed a, a, an addition there, addition of two. So um, you know we'll be working on that. And and um, I think you know it, it's still got 14 games to go. So there's players here still trying to show me what they can do. Um, to, to generate new contracts as well. So it, it'll be an interesting time, but at least now they know where we are, um, what's going to be here. And I think we can all look forward now um, because they know that I won't be staying just to make the numbers up. Um, you don't need that at, at my age. You, you, you know, I thrive for success and that's what I've done all my career, really. And uh, I, nothing would give me more pleasure 
than than doing it for Steve. If I'm honest, uh, that's what I come up for, and uh, I'll I'll be doing my utmost to 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 give him uh, the success he deserves. Really, I mean, you sort of half joked through the night about after the commentary game about reaching 50 points, but the fact we're in this position now compared to last season, and that the, you know the playoffs are all still to play for in terms of getting in that top six. That shows the amount of progress you've been able to make since you've come into it. Yeah, I mean, we're all a little bit disappointed. I think the fans are, I am, and everybody is real. I think the players are as well, because the points we've thrown away really have been ridiculous. Um, but you can't, you know, you, that's, you've got to put that to bed really and get on with it. Um, and we've just got to finish the season as best we can, um, not give up anything. I think we can go anywhere and get results. Um, we've got some tough games coming up and then... And then, you know, you say not so tough, but we found the not so tough ones tougher than the tougher ones. So it's, uh, you know, I think we've just got to t take it each one and try and give every player an opportunity to just put the case forward for next season between now and the end of the season. You touched on it at the start of the interview about the supporters. You'd be able to, you've been able to meet some of them, you know, virtually over Zoom, things like that. But the prospect of, of seeing them in, in the Riverside, back at stadiums, that must have been part of your decision to stay on. <laughs> yeah, the original chat when I, I was only coming for the season, you know, and this is a, a few months ago, and, and, you know, Steve said, you cannot, you cannot pack it in, Neil, till you've seen what it's like having 25, 30,000 in the Riverside. You know, you can't leave on a on a lull like this. And I know what he means, you know, it, it'd be great to have the fans back. I, I thrive on it. I think players do, you know, I think referees become be better referees because they're under a little bit more pressure then as well. And um, and I think it, it's one of those all the way around situations. We all want it back, uh, and it can't come quick enough for me. So I'm optimistic that the start of the season, possibly by the end of this season, but I'm not really worried too much about that if they can get them back for the start of next season. And and we are doing well with all the vaccines, etc. So it would be nice to think, you know, my last season, which has been my last season for the last twenty, I think. <laughs> um, it's you know it's going to have fans back in the stadium. Because it's been a really difficult time for everyone away from football, of course, and you've spoken about it a couple of times about how football has been a bit of a shining light. And I suppose this news and looking forward, there's, there's just plenty to be excited about, isn't there? Yeah, it's it's been. I don't think anybody's ever known a situation like this because we've never had it before, you know. Um, and I think it's brought everybody together. You know, my daughter Amy, she's in the, in the national. She works in a hospital, and uh, tells me all sorts of stories. You know, they've been amazing people at NHS. And we're very fortunate to have to have such a, a, a body in this country, uh, and the way that we've gone about the vaccines, you know, all credit to the government for that as well. So I think I think now we've got to, you know, just be careful till everybody's had the two vaccines, etc., and then we can be a little bit more open. We don't want any re recurrences, so we've still got to be careful. But I think it's one of optimism now. We, you know, you can see a light at the end of the tunnel. I think up till two months, I don't, you couldn't see any light at the end of the tunnel. Now I think you can, so let's be careful until we get there. But uh, it's one that, you know, I can't wait to see fans back at the Riverside, if I'm honest. Even if they tell me what I'm doing wrong, I, I think I'd still rather see fans there. Yeah, and on that theme, of course, we've, we've got season cards on sale now. The club's made the decision to, to roll over the season cards that would have been for this year, which is obviously a massive boost. But hopefully we can get uh, add to that as well with more supporters and, and we'll get full Riverside when, when they can. When well, I, I, I wasn't surprised uh, that Steve and, and the club agreed to that rolling over. I think it's an amazing um, gesture, and, and that's why I'm, you know, I'm going to, you know, really implore everybody, you know, all the fans, to you know, to try and get the people that haven't been for years get get your season tickets and come and support me in my, you know, my hour of need. Um, this next season, it's going to be a big one, and uh, and I think that the, as many fans as can be there. It will help me and my and the players to, to get that success that we thrive.